Watch any sports channel for long enough, and eventually you'll find poker. Of course, this isn't during prime time television hours, but it's still there. But poker is just a game or a mind sport like chess, or is it just luck? Most gambling games include an overall chance of winning, more often than not in the casino's favor, doctored up with different paraphernalia like cards, dice, flashing lights, etc. Poker is different. A significant amount of subtle acting is required. Researchers and the courts have found poker to be a game of skill in the long run, while pure chance is more present in the short run. But there's no physical component except for the mind, of course. It's not a real sport. But what if it was? According to the Oxford Dictionary, a sport is an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. We've already met the skill criteria, but what about physical exertion? Before we do this, let's see what is a sport and what is not. Hockey? Of course. Cricket? Yes. Dancing? Yes. Diving? Yeah. Checkers? No. Checkers does need strategy and mental alertness, but no amount of physical strength, agility, or dexterity will help anyone do a double jump. Poker, of course, does not need any physical attributes, except it does. Unlike baseball or hockey, it's less about what you do and more about what you don't do. In poker, every action gives away information to your opponents, much more so than in checkers or chess. That's why you rarely see poker players on their phones, eating food, or running around the table. Exertion simply means effort. It's not specified what type of effort. Sometimes not doing something is more challenging and takes a greater toll on your body than doing that something. And it's not always mental. Acting is quite physical too. In most sports that are judged, say dancing or figure skating for example, a lot of acting is needed from competitors to please the judges. Fail to do this and you probably won't win. Poker requires acting too, which satisfies the physical exertion criteria. Fail to act and when you do win, you won't win very much, since everybody knows what's happening. You'll lose often and at high amounts when others suck you in and literally call your bluff. Poker might not be a conventional sport, but depending on your point of view, you might consider it one from now on. At the very least, we can all agree it requires skill, and a lot of it. And until next time, thanks for watching.